Today is the 17th of November 2017 and that can mean only one thing is the release date of the new game Pokemon Ultra Sun Wait, what? Oh, it's Pokemon Ultra Sun Okay, right So, in front of me here I do have the box that contains the fan edition of Pokemon Ultra Sun And I go ahead and open that and let's take a look Okay then, I've opened everything up uh, as you can see here, it comes with the figure that you get for pre-ordering and the case. So, I was thinking we'll open this up first and then see which of the three starters we got in this little pack to end the thing off. Now, chances are you've probably seen these things before, especially if you're watching this video. It's basically, it's a super edition or a fan edition as they're called. It comes with a game and a steelbook. This is the uh, front cover, those are the sides. That's the back if anyone wants to pause it or anything. And that is the top, which shows what's in there. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now, I've bought uh, the Pokemon Y version of this, and no, sorry, the Pokemon Omega Ruby version and the Pokemon Sun version of this, so I'm quite looking forward. So let's put the Steelbook to the side for a second. This is the uh, regular game, this is what you'd buy if you just got the regular edition, uh, same back as the box there. Uh, nothing really of note, that's the side if anyone's interested. Back, as I said, the same, the front is also the same. And this is a very cold steelbook, uh, it's, you know, it's obviously November so it is a little cold outside, but wow. This is very cold. Uh, there is Ultra Solgaleo, uh, the one where he fuses with Necrozoma, I think. And that is the back there. So the back of the regular Sun one kind of has this, except the, all the black bits aren't there. And let's take a look inside. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really cool. So I've uh, purposely not looked into what this looks like and stuff. So that is the inside of the steelbook there with a bunch of different Pokeball designs. Does it repeat? I think it repeats. Yeah, okay, there's two Pokeballs already. I think I've spotted more than one Master Ball. That was a really nice looking uh, case though, so I generally tend to try to keep my games in this. That is a really, really nice steelbook. Uh, it only costs about £10 more than the standard game and you know, these things are going to be pretty collectible in the future. So, let's put those in the back there. Will they stand? The answer was no, they wouldn't stand. And anyway, as I said, if you do pre-order Pokemon uh, Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, you do get this pack with one of the starters in it. Now, it's a random assortment, so obviously I don't know what it is I'll be getting in this. I'm kind of hoping for Rowlet, as he's my favourite of the three, but any of the other two would be cool as well. I'm going to try and very gingerly open this, I don't really want to ruin the bag or anything. Uh, I, I like to keep these things just as kind of a memento. Let's see who... okay that's not even open. Okay I'm back and it's finally open so I've not looked inside. Who will it be? It is... oh it's Litten! That's cool, right I'm going to try and um, change the angle a bit just so we can look at it a bit, bit better. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, this is the Litten figure. Um, it's a really well-modelled figure. I think these are just the official um, figures that you can buy separately, I think. Although I could be wrong with that. It's a really nice looking uh, thing. It's got a nice little pose. It does indeed balance, as I just demonstrated. It's got a massive head. Uh, yeah, I really like Litten. It's definitely not my favourite of the three, but uh, I prefer this to Poplio, if I'm honest. Uh, Rowlet being my favourite, of course. But yeah, so that about wraps it up. It's a very short video, there's not all that much to show, really. But, you know, I thought just in case people were interested in what is in one of these, but never wanted to buy one themselves. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this and you'd like to see, I don't know, similar videos somehow in the future, then maybe consider subscribing. And of course, leaving a like or a dislike would be nice, as it'll let me know if you enjoyed this video. And as always, a comment is very much appreciated. Did you get one of these? Which version did you get? Who is your favourite starter? Tell me all about it in the comments. Oh, don't. You don't have to. Don't feel obliged. And until next time... Goodbye!